Hi, I'm Tom Hardy. And I'm Andy Serkis. And we are doing the Wired Autocomplete interview. You really answered those super thoroughly and really fast. Well, uh, well, uh, 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 you have to turn it around and feature it to the camera. What is Tom Hardy doing now? Currently, I'm working. Is if there's a question, is like, what am I working on right now? Currently, I'm doing a film with Gareth Evans um, for Netflix, uh, which is a kind of police thriller, uh, really uber violent movie. Yeah, but what are you doing, like, you know, right now? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is Tom Hardy's? Accent. Mellifluous, I'd say at best. It's a collage of places, people, things, feelings. It's irrelevant. <laughs> if you understand me, that's all that matters. Do you know what I mean? It's a, it's a hybrid of, 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 of wish fulfillment. <laughs> and shame. I, I, think, I think I'm a um, bourgeois, middle-class, posh, uh, middle-class twat. Really. <laughs> I think, and, uh, and I affect it with all kinds of interesting <laughs> variants in order to make myself seem interesting. Moving on. Moving on. Uh, what is Tom Hardy like in a real life? That's a really good question. I, I've never, Do you know I've never come across myself. <laughs> I imagine he's a bit of a knob. But, um, but honest. And honest, the day is long. I know that to be absolutely true. Uh, <clears throat> Hard working. Very. Um, always. Diligent. Yep. Late. Often. Um, I'm, uh, I'm, but not I'm, always. I'm, hap- I'm happy, I think. Good. Yeah, and grateful. Very grateful to be alive and, and to be privileged. Um, and to be sat alongside you. Oh. And here, with you, and oh. you. Oh. What is Tom Hardy's favourite oh. martial art? Oh, God. Anyway, go yeah. I, 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 <laughs> yeah, I love Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Mm-hmm. Let me know when you finish. I just want to, yeah, finish. And I just want to go and, and roll and get all sweaty in spandex. With yeah. anyone in particular? Or? With everyone. With everyone? With everyone, yeah. It's such you a lovely we, sport. Can you demonstrate some Jiu-Jitsu No, right it's impossible. Now? It's, it's impossible to do it alone. Show me a grip. Uh, there you go. Look at that. <laughs> it's really important that if you grip it, you have to put the knuckles on. Oh, really? There you go, some of that. It's actually quite an expensive sweater. There you go. Um, it doesn't suit you, though. But... <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, okay. So, how did Andy Circus the rip up from this side, get into acting? How did I get in? Because they let me in. Actually, on my first day of acting, I went. I, I got my equity card, which of course you needed in those days to get into a theatre. And I was told that I couldn't enter unless I had it in my hand. So they didn't let me into the rehearsal room. And then it was a joke, and I felt really embarrassed. So you didn't have to have an equity card. No, it was a joke. How did Andy Circus get cast as Gollum? Uh, so I, I was asked to, 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 to audition for a film called Lord of the Rings that was being made down in New Zealand and um, I said surely they wanted a voice for a digital character and I said surely there must be uh, like some really good roles in that movie why do you want me to do a voice for a digital character and then they said no it's Gollum and so I said okay so I based it on uh, I thought how am I going to do how am I going to do it I'm going to get into I'm going to basically impersonate my cat so I impersonate my cat coughing up fur balls and I went and that began right in. Whoa. <laughs> ah, that's cool. Okay, so how did Andy Serkis play King Kong? How did you play King Kong? I played him on set f- mm-hmm. with the Naomi Watts um, in a gorilla muscle suit. Um, I, I was on that? top. Of, I do have the gorilla muscle suit at home, and I, I was on top of uh, I was on top of cr- cherry pickers and cranes and so all sorts of adjustable height ladders so that we could be uh, in close proximity to each other, or I could be at the right height. And then I had a thing called a congolizer, which was a, a thing which then projected my voice uh, through these big speakers, so I could sound like a big gorilla. And then I did. And then I, when all of that was finished, when we did the on-set stuff and we shot all of Naomi's side of things, then I went on to the motion capture stage for two months. And and, and did all of uh, Kong's movements. So it was a complex affair. It's kind of blowing my mind. I, I need to work with you on that kind of stuff. Okay, so how did Andy Serkis prepare for Venom 2? There was nothing that could prepare me for Venom 2. Does Tom Hardy speak French? Not really. I speak really bad French. I can no, understand. It's possible. No, it's possible. I do, I do, I do understand it enough to know what, what you're saying. But why would that question but be I, asked? I, I, because... 
I may have said that I speak <laughs> French like I speak. I say I ride horses and I can ski proficiently and all kinds of things to get work. <laughs> None of it is true. Uh, does Tom Hardy, even though I am honest, sing? You always? No, I don't sing. No, you do. I do not. You sing in this movie. That's true, but yeah. I'm being paid. But not. Also it's true. not something that I bring. It's not something that I, I, I feel the need to express myself through the medium of. Do you, is it easy if, but do you, so you don't sing in the shower, you don't sing around the house when you're making sourdough bread? Yeah, yeah you know? sometimes I sing, I sing to the babies when they were babies, just so they get to know my voice and they could hear my burr, you know, when they were babies. But, um, but now my children say, Daddy, don't sing because it rains when you sing. <laughs> <laughs> so move on, please, it's emotional. Uh, does Tom Hardy support Tottenham? I did a documentary. Uh, about Tottenham Hotspur, uh, but I'm afraid that if I had to support a team, I think I'd be fall into the category of where I grew up and what team was the closest to me, and that would be Brentford. Does Tom Hardy... Well, I mean, we don't have to... <sighs> like dogs? I mean, what kind of Yeah, I love there? dogs. Yeah, of course I love like dogs. Yes, 100%. As much as, if not more than humans? I think it's my gateway to liking human beings, yes, or understanding at least. Oh. Okay. Yeah. But, Interesting. Oh, each to their own, right? <laughs> a gateway drug to humans. A gateway of understanding and caring. Yeah, more. That's amazing. Of, of compassion, yeah, 100%. Wow. No, I believe it. They're less complicated in that aspect, whereas, you know, human beings are, you know, are not. <laughs> Next. Does. Does Andy Circus sing? Not really, no. No. Not, not in the shower, as no. you ask me. No, no, no. Okay. How dull was that question? No, it wasn't dull. Um, <laughs> no, wasn't I mean, dull. I mean, not, I wouldn't say like my wife Lorraine sings all day long. She's just like, it's just like a, you know, if it, the house is full of song all day long. So actually I don't get even a word in edgeways oh. to sing, should I even want to. Well, maybe it's a touchy subject. Does Andy Circus <laughs> have one arm in real life? I don't understand that question. Um... But I guess that's related to uh, Black Panther, where I played Ulysses Claw, who had lost an arm. Ah. The but I wouldn't say I was method in the sense that I was prepared to chop my arm off. Did you have a green in sock? In Black Panther. I had a green, I had a green sock, because the arm had to then unpeel, as if you like. So I had a sort of plastic rubber prosthetic arm over the top, which then, uh, then, then uh, had lines on it, which then unpeeled to become the sonic weapon. But yes and no... Does Andy Sergers have kids? Does Andy Sergers have kids? Does you have kids? I does. I does. I have three kids, uh, Ruby, Sonny and Louie. Uh, my daughter's 23, my son's 21, Sonny, and uh, Louie's 17, all of whom have entered into the profession as young thespians. Fantastic. They all yes. got their equity cards. Does Andy Sergers play a hobbit in Return of the... a... Uh, king... <laughs> I mean, not strictly speaking, although, of course, Gollum was uh, a Stuart hobbit. So, yes, I suppose you could say he was in before he became, before he became um, emaciated and, and overpowered by the ring. He is a hobbit. He, the, the, so, yes, in that, in that, when, he's, when he's Smeagol, he, he, uh, before he gets transformed into Gollum, he is a Stuart hobbit. Stuart hobbits were river hobbits, and they lived by the River Gladden. Does Andy Circus ride... Motorbike. No, I had a very, I had a, I had a Kawasaki 125 when I was about 17, but I came off it that many times. It was just, no. it was just not going to happen. Um, yeah, no, I was constantly crashing and sliding and trying to, but trying to be evil can evil at the time. Probably. Oh, you're yeah, no fair one. Oh, yeah, fair God, one. You know what I mean? Oh, there's more boards. Okay, there's, there's four each. Oh, Jesus! Here we go. Here for okay. days. What? Movie is Andy Serkis. I'm going to go this way, right? Directing next. Where are you directing next? That's a good question. We've got a, got a whole bunch of movies that are kind of in development, but what actually comes up for likely, likely to be Animal Farm, I think, is probably the next thing. George Orwell. Going. George Orwell's Animal Farm. Mm -hmm. uh, that, is, that is actually currently in the early works of being developed into a movie. What does Andy Serkis do for fun? That, what, that we can talk about here? Well, uh, what do you feel comfortable talking about? I'm massively into um, climbing. I'm a big 
very passionate mountaineer. I love being in the mountains. Adore being in the mountains. In fact, uh, you know, I was in the mountains last week. What did Andy Serkis play in Star Wars? People know that, so what, why is that? Because people Google this, like, because they didn't recognise you, clearly. Maybe, I, my guess would be, instinctively, oh, it's like... I we could, looked, we watched it, but we couldn't. He was so yeah, remarkable yeah, as a the transformation. He's in, yeah. invisible. Really. <laughs> All right, if I say this, the, 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 might this give you a clue? Have you felt it? And that was a line from Star Wars in which I played Supreme Leader Snoke, the character that no one knows where he came from, where he's going to, or what he is, or whatever, anything about him, because he's so mysterious, including myself. What is Andy Serkis work... What is Andy Serkis's workout routine? Okay, I like cycling. I like, uh, as I say, climbing, and I do occasional and and and, and I like walking. I like wa- I actually like walking every day, very fast around the heath. <laughs> <laughs> Are you being investigated? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what uh, inspi- What inspires Andy Serkis? That's hard. Tom Hardy. Oh. Majorly. Uh, Woody Harrelson. Uh, Naomi Harris. Kandinsky. Francis Bacon. Um, Miles Davis. John Coltrane. Uh, Nina Simone. Um, They're beautiful inspirations, man. Mm. I mean, not me with standing up. <laughs> like, uh, How did Tom Hardy become an actor yeah I think I was about 19, 20 19, 20 and it was when we were auditioning for drama schools and I didn't get in I was like no I, I, I need to do that it's uh-huh. FOMO <laughs> <laughs> I can't have to well there's nothing else I can do nothing it's an unusual thing to have got into really um, to sort of invested everything on something that was likely to work <laughs> <laughs> but there you go you know. how did Tom Hardy Fight himself in legend. I didn't fight myself. I, oh. see. I fought with Jacob Tamuri, who's um, obviously um, a good friend of mine and a brilliant stuntman, and we've been working since Fury Road together, and we uh, cobbled that together with Justin Spencer in a couple of days, and it took us two days to shoot. And um, it was really good fun, actually, and it was over Jakey's shoulder onto me and then over Jakey's shoulder onto me as he swapped from Ronnie to Reggie as well with me. There we go. How did Tom Hardy... Train for Venom. Uh, I had two knee surgeries and oh, sat around, God. didn't I? <laughs> like, um, like, yeah, I had two meniscus surgeries. Hey, it was just before, literally, yeah. not long before shooting. It was Eight unbelievable. Weeks. I don't Eight know how you before. did that. We just had to do it, didn't I? I tore the meniscus on the first Venom because uh, I wore boxing boots because it looked so cool. And I was like, oh, they look really good. And I really think they would be great for the character. And they were, and they, but they've got no cushion in them. Yeah. So you're running around on the concrete. I just, I'm old and enough to cause damage quick, and that was it. Uh, and then the, uh, the meniscus went in jiu-jitsu. And then I couldn't get, you know, if I bent down, I couldn't stand up again because they were locked and stuff. And it was rubbish, so I had the operation really quick. Thank you, just a shave on both, but it was I had two back to back eight weeks before I know. we started filming, and then so that the fighting was a little bit. How did Tom Hardy do the Bane voice? That was actually a, a, a really cool choice that Chris made, Chris Nolan. Bane quintessentially is a Latinx in many in, of origin of a character, and I am not. So I looked at the. Uh, the concept of, of Latin, and found a character, a, a gentleman called, or gentleman, a man called Bartley Gorman, who's a Roman gypsy, huh. uh, and the king of the gypsies in inverted commas, and a bare knuckle fighter, huh. and a boxer. And uh, he said, when I get into a ring with a man, and he wants to wipe me off the face of the earth, and all he wants to kill me. And I was like, oh, this is great. And then I, was like, I showed Chris, I said, Chris, we can either go down a sort of, sort of arch Darth Vader kind of route, and, you know, st- straight, you know, just neutral tone villain voice. Or we could try this, and this I've been thinking of just in case we, you know, we, 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 you know we've got to consider the roots and origins of the, of the Bane, but we could get laughed out of the park with it. It might be something that we regret, but it's your choice ultimately. And he goes, no, I think we'll go with it. And that was that. And wow. we, we played with it and made it a bit more florid, and, uh, and now people laugh at it. <laughs> <laughs> Is Andy Serkis 
actually is Andy, Andy Serkis American? Well, it's a it's a little known secret that I'm not known. <laughs> um, <laughs> is Andy Serkis in Venom? Be honest. Be okay. honest. Okay. No. Actually, do you know what? There is a moment oh, where. Yeah. Do you remember at the we breakfast did. table where 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 Venom is tapping Eddie Brock on the shoulder? Yes. And you said, "Can you be the tendril of yes, Venom?" Yes. yes. So I cheer up, am, buddy. I kind of am in the movie. You are cheer up, buddy. Cheer up, buddy. Is Andy Serkis in Game of Thrones? Well, look, anybody who watches Game of Thrones will clearly know that I'm not in it. But are you in it? Well, I'm invested in it, in the, but definitely not in it. Is Andy Serkis married? Very definitely, I yes. I can answer that, yeah. <laughs> yes, uh, been together with Lorraine for 30 years now. 30 long, very happy, we've never out argued once, uh, years. And we have three children, Ruby, Sonny and Louie. And uh, yeah, yeah, we sort of still rub along together. Mm-hmm. Things, things are all right, you know. Hanging in there. <laughs> oh my, well, this is going to be uh, this, oh, is, no. this is dangerous now. This is going into dangerous territory. Did Tom Hardy actually eat a live lobster? Several. Was yeah, wow, yeah, several. really? Did you? Actually... I think it's only fair, isn't it? You know, like once I did one in the tank, that I finished the rest of them off because they they witnessed, and they're a higher being as well because they. No, I, don't, I didn't eat any of them. They were. <clears throat> It's a high sentient being, apparently, because it, it lives off shit and it eats as a bottom feeder and it can subsist on, on what people don't need. You know what I mean? Oh, the lobster. That's very interesting. Were well, there not rules in the union against lobsters? There's no union for lobsters. Really? Did Tom Hardy l- ad lib Peaky Blinders? Ad lib in Peaky Blinders? I, 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 I guess. Uh, well, uh, to be honest, Steve Knight is such an awesome writer of dialogue that, um, that there is there is no reason to ad lib in Peaky Blinders at all. And he always gives me a good 10 page scene whenever I turn up a day. So I can't lie, I do ad lib as well. I like to go off that. And, <laughs> no, and that make that on the ADR stage, I've noticed. I do like to ad lib, yeah, <laughs> but I'm based off a solid script. <laughs> you know I, mean? I like to get all of Steve Knight's work in there because that's what should be in there. It's awesome, but it's just so good. I just like to go off. What's next? Next is did Tom Hardy actually fly a plane in Dunkirk? On the day, uh, like um, uh, like Douglas Bader, kind of like old school, yeah. or in the film? In in the film? Oh, because I wasn't on the day. I didn't actually fly a plane back in the in the, in the Second World War. Oh, uh, you didn't? No. Um, but in the film? In the film, I didn't actually fly a plane in the film either. But everything. Um, that I shot was shot in a sort of cockpit seat um, did hanging you, over a cliff. That's amazing. So you can see the scene in the background. Um, did Tom Hardy voice Bane in South Park? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Oh, but I'm glad that somebody did, if they did. Did they? Have they? You must have done. That's awesome. That's cool, isn't it? Yeah, it's it is great nice. to have your character immortalised in such a fine piece of animation. <laughs> I'm reminded that I'm just a... A collage and fragment of, of <laughs> insecurities and neurosis. But we've established that, that you are deeply honest, so that's at the root of everything that's, that's important. Like, yeah, that's true, and you like to climb mountains. Exactly, so exactly. Cool. Nothing profound in that. It's, it's been a pleasure. Completely. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Goodbye.